Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the love of sewing and craft. Today we are doing a tutorial on making an ironing board. You know, when we're sewing, sometimes we need the ironing board, but it's not always that we have the space to place our ironing board. So that's why we will make our own DIY ironing board. You can make them small, middle, or you can make them as large as you want. Today we're going to make a big one and the supplies we will need are a piece of plywood, batting, fabric, scissor, and a heavy duty stapler. The first thing we will do is to spread out our batting. Make sure your batting lies flat and then place your piece of plywood on top of your batting. Then stretch your batting to the back and start to staple. The next thing we want to do is to turn our plywood so we can staple the next side. Make sure your bedding is a little bit taut on the other side because we don't want to have rimples. Turn your plywood to make sure that it looks good on the other side and then go ahead to cover the edges. In the corners we will fold some triangles and then turn it to staple. The same thing you will do in the other corner. Do the same thing for the other side also. Make sure you don't staple your fingers. Turn your plywood to see if everything is wrinkle free. Remove your plywood and bedding from the table and spread out your fabric. Place your fabric with the right side down onto the table and then place your plywood embedding in the middle, roughly in the middle of your fabric. The next thing we will do is fold our sides in and try to fold a little piece so you won't have any raw edges. Turn your board to the next side, pull your fabric taut so you won't have any wrinkles on the good side. Fold your edges in and start to staple again. Fold your corners also into a triangle. Fold your edges in also. And then staple. Do the next side, 
fold in the corners in a triangle fold in the edges and then staple When you're done, turn your board over, then you have a perfectly covered ironing board. It's not too hard, not too soft, but perfect to iron all of your garments and projects. And when choosing your fabric, make sure you don't choose a too light of a fabric because you know ironing boards are prone to staining. So if you choose a fabric that's too light, you will see that you will have to change your fabric more often. And when this fabric is ruined, you just can change your fabric and then you'll have a new ironing board. That's how you make your own ironing board. Thank you for watching our tutorial. And don't forget to like and share this video with your family and friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon for notification so you will be notified as soon as we post a new video. Thank you, until next time, bye!